Hi, my name is Callum. I'm a third year Monash medical student. I'm currently based in Bendigo Health for my first clinical year. Uh, today in this video, I'm just going to show you a little bit of the day in my life. I'm going to show you how I get to hospital, a bit of hospital, some of my classes, some of my study, some of the off time, as well as showing you a little bit around um, the accommodation and different places around Bendigo. <laughs> I think first I'll just give you a quick tour of the room. Uh, this is at Lister House, so all students um, in third year and fifth year uh, stay here. So it's all split into two parts. So firstly you have just a bedroom area, very simple, um, and it's actually split by this massive closet here. And then on the other side you do have uh, a study desk, just like that. And then you've just got some other space to do whatever else you need. So I'm gonna go get changed, um, and then we go catch up a little bit later, and we can have a chat at hospital. So I've just arrived at the hospital, uh, right here, there's Bendigo Health. Currently I'm, I'm on my medical rotation, so we start about 8.30. So I wake up about 7.30, get ready, um, get a parking and head down to hospital. Then we go on ward rounds for about four hours. In the afternoon I have some classes, um, as well as some free study time, and that wraps it up at about five o'clock. So stay tuned. So I've just finished ward rounds and it's about 11 o'clock and I thought this was a good opportunity to answer the age-old question of why did you want to do medicine? And I think there are multiple reasons personally and there's no right answer uh, for anyone. I think the first reason was uh, the variety that you can do. Uh, medicine can take you everywhere around the world and so many different directions that, um, especially coming out of high school, I thought it was such an amazing opportunity. Uh, secondly, you're always learning, always, always learning and learning something new. And I think that's so important because every day you learn, you learn to become a better doctor, a better person. And so you can make a tangible difference um, in your patient lives in the future. So I'm a part of something called the extended rural cohort. And that means that out of my three clinical years, two and a half of them will be spent in Northwest rural Victoria. I picked Bendigo as the first year because of its amazing opportunities it's offered. It has a brand new hospital and the teams in there are absolutely amazing and you get to do so much more than you would do in a metro hospital. So I've just finished studying um, and we're heading into the skills lab now uh, just to do uh, learn about anaphylaxis a little bit. I'm um, gonna show you a little bit and then I can play some footage of that happening. Here's our lovely nurse, Hello. Lynn. And here is the skills lab. Um, there's a whole bunch of things that we can do, practice all times of different procedures, uh, such as cannulas and venal punctures. Uh, we're getting setting for catheter up in the back. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna learn how to use an EpiPen today. Super fun. So it's about five o'clock and I've just arrived home back from hospital. Uh, so we've got a little bit of downtime in the evening. So right now I'm just gonna go make some dinner and then um, see you around. Just here, a little bit of leftovers. It's getting a bit late, so I'm getting ready for bed and to start this day all over again tomorrow. I just wanna say a massive thank you for following me uh, throughout this video. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned a bit about the day in the life of a rural medical student. This is Callum and I'll see you later.